Mr. Cantor Camera himself, Alan Funk! We thought it would be funny if we played a little joke on one of television's brightest young stars, David Letterman. We wondered what would happen if we went to David's studios in New York and switched his phone lines with the phone lines from the police emergency hotline. Watch. <laughs> show for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, phone the neighbors, wake the kids. Uh, this is an extravaganza you won't want to miss. <laughs> uh, what are we doing here? Uh, Hal, we got some folks on the phone, do we? Uh, yes, we do, David. Let me see if I could uh, work this thing here. Uh, yeah, you're on the line. Sir, my husband accidentally swallowed a whole bottle of tranquilizers. Gee, I guess we can cancel that wake-up call. <laughs> Help! My dog's on fire and flopping around the room. Ooh, uh, I tell you what, uh, why don't you throw a couple logs on them and bring them in next week for stupid pet tricks? <laughs> Yellow. Hello? My husband is hanging from the roof by his fingertips. Uh, you know, that is really amazing. I can't even do a chin-up. Uh, yeah. My wife's temperature is 106. Really? Uh, what's her humidity? Oh, it's just a joke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're on the line. Someone kidnapped my wife and sent me a ransom note. Uh, really? Uh, gee, I hope there wasn't any postage due on it. <laughs> Would you mind uh, reading the note for us, uh, sir? Reading it? Uh, sure, uh, we'd all like to hear it. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I guess. Dear sir, we've abducted your wife. Only money can save her life. Uh, gee, uh, gee, I hate to interrupt you, pal, but that's an awfully nice rhyme. Uh, I think the note would sound a lot better if you sang it. Sang it? <laughs> ah, come on, pal, be a sport now. This is a quality network television show. Well, all right. Dear sir, we've abducted your wife. Everybody! Only money can save her life. Dear sir. <laughs> Tomorrow, kidnappers all across America, ladies and gentlemen, uh, will be humming that tune. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, pull the plug on this sucker, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him, Joan and the Jonettes.
1984, you saw Rocky defend the United States against Soviet domination. Joe Piscopo defend the free world against the imperialist giant from the Far East in Saki. me ma'am from el paso to calgary some folks call me bull the king of the rodeo cowboys <laughs> is here in new york sometimes i feel like the king of the greenhorns so i carry the american express card then no one takes this bull for a ride to apply for the card look for an application and take one the american express card don't leave home without it over 100,000 drivers have participated in a series of nationwide surveys to determine the quality of vehicles designed and built in America. The surveys measure nearly all makes and models. Models as old as 81 and as recent as 84, including ours. And as a group, our Lincolns and our Mercury's and our Ford cars and trucks were found to be the highest quality vehicles designed and built in America. How about that, America? That's what happens when you make quality job one. Quality is job one. When Domino's Pizza delivers, quality comes first. We custom bake each pizza with carefully selected, skillfully prepared ingredients. Taste the quality. One call does it all. It's always been the smoothest, freshest beer around, poured straight from the tap. And now, there's a true draft beer in a bottle. Miller Genuine Draft. It's not heat pasteurized like most bottled beers. It's cold filtered for real draft smoothness. Miller Genuine Draft. Ah, the smoothness of draft beer in a bottle. They were all American boys. Righteous. Tomorrow's leaders. Plan on going to Harvard in the fall, not Lebanon. Until they thought they were above the law. We could take over this whole school. Take over this whole town. The Brotherhood of Justice. Sunday.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I pay tribute to one of the best things to ever happen to the state of New Jersey, Bruce Springsteen. Broken heroes on a last chance power drive. Someone's on the run tonight. There is not one place to hide. Tracks like us, who see? We were born in the USA. Show. I hope you had a great time. I want to thank everybody who had something to do with the show, like my family especially, my friends, Danny DeVito, Eddie Murphy, Governor Thomas Kane of New Jersey, and all the people of New Jersey for being so nice and letting us have some fun. I hope to see you all again. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Eastern is pleased to have provided air transportation to Newark for this evening's special telecast hosted by Joe Piscopo. At Eastern, we earn our wings every day. While in New Jersey, accommodations were provided by Lowe's Glen Point Hotel in Teaneck. Appearing in tonight's show, Deborah Harmon. Later tonight on Nightline, if diets work, why is there a new one every week? Ted Koppel talks with the authors of the hottest new diet book, Fit for Life, and with nutritionist Jane Brody. Thursday, Jason confronts Sable and Zach, and a fatal shot is fired on the Colbys. Later tonight, following Nightline, watch Eye on Hollywood. This has been a Joe Piscobo production.